Hey guys, Anthony here. It is uh, Thursday, September 5th, 2024. Just did a video on uh, this backpack here and some um, reasons why I carry it. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, you can go see that video. That's be on my YouTube channel today. And I'll try to put it on Instagram as well. Just looking at Fox News right now and it's telling me Hunter Biden has been charged with um, tax evasion, I think it is. Nine counts. But the reason for this video was yesterday you saw that we had a shooting in Georgia at that high school, Appalachie High School in Georgia. That actual area is not too far from where I live. I think it's under, probably under three hours away uh, from here. But um, I watched a video by, uh, watched a video this morning that, the gentleman that was doing the video was uh, reviewing some of the facts that came out since then, since yesterday. So when I did my video yesterday, it was just basically breaking. I filmed the news, showing it on the news that I didn't even know at that time that people were dead. At that time, the press conference said the sheriff had said he was not going to talk about that, that there were people injured, but there wasn't details on it till later in the day and then until into today. So we find out that the FBI had a run-in. The school had a run-in with this kid, 14-year-old kid, that uh, committed the uh, shooting uh, last year. Apparently, the sheriff department said there wasn't enough evidence to do anything against them. So they knew about this, the issues with this kid. So fast forward to right before the shooting, a call comes into the school, uh, and the from what I understand, they send, rather than one of the two resource officers that are uh, billed out to the school, uh, the principal, whoever, the main office sends somebody down to investigate the, you know, the reasons for the call or the, the, the reason for the, the call that somebody was going to be shot that day, yesterday. And so then you have now, which we know, two teachers killed and two students killed and other people injured. And the first thing that I saw yesterday with um, Kamala Harris and her crew was, uh, especially the one that does the um, press conferences, the lady with the curly hair that knows her ass from her elbow. And she's a specialist in lying. <laughs> but anyway... She comes out just like the script. I could have wrote the script for that. The gun did it. Guns are bad. The gun did it. We got to ban guns. You can't legislate evil. As you see in the UK and Australia and some other areas, uh, in China, Japan, if people want to kill some people or kill somebody, they'll use a rock, they'll use a knife, they'll use fire, they'll use a vehicle. I mean... It's endless of, I'll hit you over the head with a bottle. I'll sneak up behind you and grab you and choke you out. What do you, you can't legislate evil. So blaming the object or the tool, which is a gun in this case, which I'm not sure how he got it yet. I haven't seen all the updates. Um, um, but uh, did he get it from his home, his father? Because they did have uh, right, uh, hunting guns or whatever in the house. Uh, did he buy it from another person? Did he get it illegally on the street? You know, what did he do? Right away, AR-style weapon, blah, blah, blah. It's always Glock or AR-style weapon um, in these shootings. And it's always, they're always blamed. And then the uh, person that did it, it's ancillary to the, to the case, especially for those in power for the last four years, because they want to disarm us. But yet illegal migrants can get long guns, pistols, and go around taking over neighborhoods and everything. But nobody's calling for banning of weapons when they do it. And in fact, nobody's even going after them. Uh, so that's what I wanted to talk about today in this video. That as this unfolds, um, you're going to see, I told you September was going to be one of those months, a transition month. You're going to see cases like this where there's a shooting. They use it for their agenda, which is to ban or confiscate or 
whatever it is, it's erosion of gun rights, Second Amendment, constitutional rights. That's the object of the party in power right now. That's their goal, is disarmament. There's no question about that. There's no beating around it. There's no sensible gun control. We have sensible laws, thousands of them, hundreds of thousands of them on the books. And all these sensible laws are never used to stop the crime. They're always, oh, we knew about them. We interviewed them. There wasn't enough this. There wasn't enough that. Uh, the call comes in. Ah, and then it's too late. You fail to address the problem when you get the information about the problem. And so, and then when the problem happens or the shooting happens, you blame the object. Guns just don't get up and walk to schools and shoot four people and kill four people. It just doesn't happen. So you and I have to be ready at all times. When we leave this house or your house or your home, whatever, you have to be, you're on the set, my brother used to call it when he was a detective in New York City. Uh, you're on the set. When you walk out onto the street, you're on the set. It's like a movie set, and you don't know what the script's going to bring. You haven't seen the script. You don't know what's coming at you, and you have to be ready to defend yourself, your family members, whatever, by any means necessary. And so that's my video this morning on that. Um, Pinball Preparedness was the channel that I watched, uh, his video this morning that he did. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.